Yes, yeah, Scott Horton, a certificate for in commercial cookery. I've been in the restaurant business, cooking in particular, for over 30 years. Started out as a family business, just for a bit of, bit of money on the side from, you know, when I was young. We're called Nacho's Mexican Cantina. We've been here in this location for 28 years. My wife and I opened the restaurant. I've had a lot of experience and, and a lot of cooking and served a lot of people over the years. But the one thing I didn't have was so-called qualification. When the idea of recognition of prior learning came along, a four-year apprenticeship doesn't mean I don't know what I'm doing and I'm not a chef. Although my daughter used to also kid me, Dad, you're not a, you're not a chef, you're only a cook. And that used to bug me. It was a great thing that uh, I could go through it, that I can run a kitchen and I can put menus together and I can open restaurants and I can run a business. I think I was looking in the Guinness Book of Record and there was the biggest taco, the biggest burrito, and there was no biggest nachos. And I thought, well, why not? You know, that's a bit silly. You know, there's big everything else. So I emailed Guinness in London. You know, how do I go about trying to set a record for this? After they approved it, the Good Food Show up at Exhibition Centre in Melbourne, I went and visited them and told them what I had in mind. And they were quite keen to have it as part of their show. It's not all about sitting in a classroom and somebody, you know, teaching you. It's about hands-on learning now that they've got something called recognition of prior learning. It's, uh, it's a great concept and I'm glad I did it.